Well, hey guys, I have a package that's just in. Let's see what it is. It's a bunch of resistors. 1300 pieces. All different values. I think there's 64 or so different values of resistors here. And I just wanted to take a look and see if they're any good. But I wanted to see if these were worthwhile. First, let me show you all the different values they give you. Here is a table of the resistor values that I got. You get 20 of each value, starting at 1 ohm, 2.2 ohm, 4.7, so on and so forth, all the way up to 10 mega ohms. This kit costs $7.75. Now, if you want even more resistors, you can buy a kit that has twice as many values. But I got this kit from a seller called EG-Action. But you can get these from many other different sellers. Okay. Let's take a look at these resistors and measure them with the meter and you know see if they're any good or not. These are supposed to be 1% tolerance metal film resistors. I've gone through several of them with my meter and checked the accuracy. Most of them seem to be within 1%. Some of them are just outside of that, but that could be the tolerance of my meters. But what I've done is taken these resistors here, which I bought from DigiKey, from a known manufacturer, Stackpole Electronics, and I measured every one with both my meters. And here's the first one. One came out 19.98 on this one, and it came out spot on on this meter. This meter might be a little bit low, but still, you know, it's within 15 hundredths of a percent. And the one that was most off was still half a percent. So, you know, these are very good resistors. And that tells me my meters are both fairly accurate, at least with uh, this range. And I've taken some measurements. And, you know, I'm getting a little bit out of spec, about 1.2%. Some of them are in, some of them are just a little bit out. So, going by that, I'm going to say that these don't always come in to spec. So what do I think about these resistor kits? Well, I look at it this way. If you think about it, a lot of people still use these 5% carbon film resistors. And you know, these may be out of spec by as much as 1.5%. They're still a lot more accurate than a 5% carbon resistor. Other thing I don't know about can't really test is the long-term stability. How are these going to last after years of use? Are they going to drift a lot or not? Well, one thing's for sure. If you do buy resistors from someone like DigiKey and they're half a percent tolerance, they're usually going to be well within that. Like I said, I measured, you know, the one that was the most off was still within half a percent. And they're likely just to be very high quality. And, you know, they still don't cost that much. I paid a dollar for the all of these, a little over a dollar. But still, that's, you know, getting well over a thousand for seven dollars. Yeah, it's still quite a deal. So, yeah, I think it's a pretty good deal for tinkering and things. You know, why not? You can get a bunch of different values you need for your projects, several of each value, 
and you have something to work with. You don't have to spend a lot of money. So I would certainly recommend it. Well, this video was kind of short, so let me leave you with one little tip that might be of some use. When I'm tinkering around, every once in a while, I need to know the maximum voltage I can put on a given resistor before exceeding its thermal limits. In other words, if I have a quarter watt resistor and it's rated 1000 ohms, how much voltage can I put across it? I'll just use this formula here. It's the square root of power times resistance equals voltage. I'm just using E, the old classic form, electromotive force. So 0.25 times 1000 takes the square root. So the maximum I can put on a 1K quarter watt resistor is 15.81 volts. If I go any higher, I'm going to be exceeding that quarter watt limit. Well, hope this helps you out, and thanks for watching.